Hello Year 2, how are you? I hope you had a lovely weekend. Welcome to today's English lesson. So this lesson we are going to almost be continuing on with the work that we started last lesson on expanded noun phrases, where we created some expanded noun phrases uh, using our senses to describe the different places that Gabby went on her magical bubble. We described the first place, which was the sky, and we described the second place, which was under the sea. Well, you did that one on your own. Now, by the end of the lesson, like last lesson, you'll be able to write down ideas and vocabulary, adjectives, expanded noun phrases that you can use in your writing when you come to write your own bubble story to describe the different places that Gabby went on her adventure. Now, before we look at expanded noun phrases for the next place that Gabby went on her adventure, I had a go at the task that I set you last lesson, which was to come up with some expanded noun phrases for under the sea using your different senses okay would you like to see how i got on okay so here you go i came up with an expanded noun phrase for touch sight hearing and taste so for touch i had tangled slippery seaweed for sight i had the brightly colored delicate coral for hearing i had lots of splashing fish and for taste, I had the clear, salty seawater. Now, Angel sent in her work on Friday. So I've used some of the adjectives that Angel came up with herself. But have I written my expanded noun phrases correctly? Ooh, I don't know. What I'd like you to do is pause the video and see if you can work out if I've written my expanded noun phrases correctly. Okay, if I've got all the parts. But if I haven't, would you mind correcting them for me? That would be brilliant. OK, pause the video now and have a look. Have I got them correct? OK, yeah, two. So did I get them correct? Before we find out, let's recap on the different parts of an expanded noun phrase. So here's our expanded noun phrase again. Lots of yummy cold ice cream. Now, remember, we always start an expanded noun phrase with a determiner. So that could be lots of, most, many, a or an, the, or a number like three, six, okay? And then after the determiner, you need adjectives. Now, how many adjectives do you need? Yes, that's right, you need two adjectives. And they need to be separated by a, yes, a comma. So, so far we've got a determiner, two adjectives separated by a comma. Remember, an adjective describes a noun. So what needs to come after the adjectives? Yes, that's right, a noun, which in this sentence, is ice cream. So there we go, we've got our determiner, lots of, our two adjectives, yummy and cold, separated by a comma, you need to remember the comma, and then it ends with a noun, which is ice cream in this expanded noun phrase. Okay, so now we've recapped on the different parts of an expanded noun phrase, shall we go and look at my examples that I did for under the water? Okay, so the first one, a touch I had tangled slippery seaweed. Now, I've got my two adjectives there and they're separated by a comma. I've remembered the comma. And then at the end, I've got seaweed, which is my noun. So I've got two adjectives separated by a comma and then a noun, seaweed. Is my expanded noun phrase correct? I think I've got all the parts. Oh no, well done for spotting that. I haven't used a determiner at the beginning of my expanded noun phrase. So I could use the, a or an, lots of, many, or a number. Hmm. Let me correct my expanded noun phrase. Oh, there you go, the tangled slippery seaweed. So there you go, now I've got my determiner, my two adjectives separated by a comma, and my noun, which is seaweed. Okay, is it correct now? Brilliant, thank you so much for your help. Now the second one for sight. So the brightly coloured, delicate coral. Now, I've got my determiner, so I've remembered that this time. I've got my two adjectives, because I've got brightly coloured and delicate. And then I've got my noun, which is coral. Have I remembered everything now? Oh no, you're right. I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? Shout it to the screen. Yes, I've forgotten my comma in between the two adjectives. Well done for spotting that. So it should be the brightly coloured, delicate coral. Can you see now I've got my comma, put my comma in between my two adjectives. 
So now I've got a determiner. Two adjectives, brightly coloured and delicate, separated by a comma. Thank you for reminding me. And then finally, I've got coral, which is my noun. OK, let's have a look at the hearing one. I've got lots of splashing fish. Now I've got my determiner, so I've remembered that again. I've got my adjective and I've got my noun. Have I included everything? No, I haven't, have I? What am I missing? Shout it to the screen. What am I missing? Oh, yes, that's right. I need two adjectives, don't I? And if I have two adjectives, I remember that I have to separate them by a comma. So could you pause the video now and have a think? What adjective could I add to my expanded noun phrase so I can have two adjectives rather than one? OK, too. so while you pause the video, I had to think too about an adjective that I could add and I wrote my expanded noun phrase again now that you told me what was wrong with it. So now I've come up with lots of busy splashing fish. Is that correct now? Brilliant. So I've got my determiner, lots of, then my two adjectives, busy and splashing, separated by a comma, and then I've got my noun, which is fish. There you go. I've got all of my parts of an expanded noun phrase. Thank you again for helping me. Now the last one, I've got taste, okay. The clear, salty seawater. Have I got all my parts now? Yes, I've remembered them all this time, haven't I? I've got my determiner, which is the, my two adjectives, clear and salty, and I've even remembered the comma in between them. And then my noun, seawater. So there you go, I don't need to change that one. I've got that one correct. Brilliant, thank you so much for your help. I'm really glad that you've remembered how to create an expanded noun phrase from last lesson. So now that you've remembered how to create them, you're going to be thinking about your next place that Gabby goes to on her bubble. Now, we know from the story that she went up into space, but for the last place, I'd like you to change where she went. So she's not going to space anymore. She's going to a different place and you can decide where she's going. So I've given you some ideas. I've got a jungle, a desert, a forest, Antarctica. OK, or you might have some other ideas. OK, you might have read about a place in a storybook or you might have a magical kingdom or a princess, um, princess castle that you want them to go to. OK, so it is completely up to you where they go on their final adventure. Now, in the middle of your worksheet, so this worksheet is year two. English, 18th of January, resource two, OK? You'll find what you have on the screen now. So the box with the, uh, with the five arrows, with the different senses, OK? So what you need to do in the middle is draw the place that you have chosen Gabby to go for, to for her last adventure. And even write, if you could write for me where it is, that would be brilliant as well. Then have a think, firstly, about all the nouns. So everything that you can see, hear, smell, taste and touch and then once you've got your nouns turn them into expanded noun phrases so you need to remember your determiner your two adjectives separated by a comma and your noun okay brilliant now to help you out what i've done for my suggestions so i've done it for jungle desert and antarctica i have sent you also another worksheet this is year two english 18th of january resource one and on that worksheet, there are lots of pictures of the different places. So pictures of the jungle, pictures of the desert and pictures of Antarctica that you can use to help you come up with your different expanded noun phrases. OK, and I've also put some useful vocabulary. So, for example, for Antarctica, you can see I've got a picture of a penguin, I've got some seals, I've got an iceberg and I've got some penguins jumping into the water. Oh, I wonder how the water feels. And I've also given you some useful vocabulary. So, for example, seal, iceberg, and I have put penguin in as well. And I've also told you that the weather is very cold in Antarctica. So that could also help you with your senses. So look at the pictures. What do you think you might see if you're in Antarctica? What do you think you might hear? What do you think you might touch? OK, can you see what's on the floor? You might be able to touch that. Can you see, can you think of what you might smell? Remember, what do penguins eat? OK, that might give you a clue. OK, so what you need to do, as I said, is pause the video now. This is the end of our lesson and have a go at creating your own place where Gabby is going to go on her third adventure. So remember, picture in the middle and write where it is 
and then create your expanded noun phrases using your senses. OK, brilliant year two. I'm looking forward to seeing all your different places that Gabby is going to go on her third adventure. Have a lovely rest of your day, year two. Bye.